Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are in the beautiful gardens of Dandenong and we are feeling very British today. Currently we are on set with my housemate having his photo shoot. He's taking nice photos of himself because he bought a new suit by the bridge. <laughs> Is it worth your money? I feel like Barney. Is that Barney Stinson? <laughs> You're missing that um, triangle uh, handkerchief. Are you here to pick up some chicks? He's starting to take photo. Everyone's having a photography moment <laughs> being a model. This whole garden is very beautiful. Like you're entering a fairy tale scenery. And uh, yeah, the pond here is a mysteriously dark shade of green. I'm not sure why. With the nice trees and sun blossoms around me. So, pretty nice place. So, our adventure continues right here in Dandenong. It is a super hot day now. We are seasoning up 26 Celsius, but all good. We are having tea time now. Yes, at our first top for scones and cakes at Miss Marple Tea Rooms, right in front of me, over there. And I'm so excited because scones here are supposedly very good in this uh, area. And we'll fit the British team, which we are aiming for. It's cup of tea. <laughs> So hopefully it'll be really nice. Really excited for this place. We've been craving tea time. Wow, you're so fitting with this uh, environment. You know, with your nice suit. <laughs> where's your tie? Yeah, where's your tie? Shame. 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 Wow, look at our cream and jam. So sumptuous. Yes, our desserts are here. Belgian waffles with whipped cream, ice cream and raspberry. Here we have a sundae called Varicus Folly based on the story. Look at that. It is a caramel sundae with all the chocolate fudge. Simply amazing. Alright, I'm gonna try this Varicus Folly. Wow, I can't even get it all without making it fall. Let's try it out. Mm. Very rich, very thick. I love the cream. Oh, it's so good. The chocolate sauce. The cream. Oh my god, you guys must come to this place. It is so nice. I'm a happy person. We are now entering the tea shop with all of these teacups. Look at that. That's so cute. It's a turtle teacup, porcupine teacup, owl teacup, <laughs> rose teacup. I know. It's so amazing. Wow, if I was like having a mansion, I would fill my house with all of these. Time now, we're going for something rustic. We're having pies here in Pine the Sky, where many selection of pies you can go crazy about it, full of it. And uh, he's having a hard time choosing what you want, I yeah, think. I do. I also <laughs> want the beef rendang one and also the beef burgundy. I know, you want it's cooked with red wine. Ooh, that sounds really good. I'm getting beef rendang. Sounds very close to home. This place is super vintage and rustic. I feel like I'm in the past. All our pies. Ooh. Seriously, man, we're having a pie delicious world here. Pie party. I know, pie party. He's having pies with uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's but crispy. Recommend. That's nice. That's crispy. Nice. When you come to Olinda, you come for pies. All right, everybody. So we just had lunch, and now we are at Olinda, which is a very quaint suburb, very fairy tale ish. Yeah. See behind me, it's really quaint and uh, charming. Not much things going on here except the pine sky, which we just had. Some art craft shop, um, antique shops, and of course the chocolate shop, which we are in front of. So. Yeah, if you come to Olinda area for, you know, scones, tea, relaxation and just to enjoy the nature, this is the place to go. It's like everything is just so calm and charming. And sometimes I wonder what do people actually do here also. So the more I walk around, the more I see little cute charming shops that just sell really random things and they're very nicely decorated. 
flowers everywhere, blooming, and very cottagey too. And as mentioned, you really feel like you're in a fairy tale. Next stop, Botanic Gardens. Re entry. Rhododendron. Here we go. Ooh. No, you have to go there. Wow. This place is like full of gardens. Everywhere is a garden. Rhododendron. No throne. I'm feeling rather positive about this place. Finally, the flowers have bloomed because previously they were not bloomed and uh, it was a very sad place, especially during winter time. But now, as of September, spring is here, flowers are alive. Here you can see it all in its full glory, right to the very end. Look at know, that view! Yeah, I don't know how far we walk down. Probably uh, a deeper area to adventure to and more different flowers to see. Wow! Shaymin, where are you? You know what Shaymin? What's Shaymin? Shaymin is a legendary Pokemon. That like grass Pokemon that has to stay in flowers. It always says, the flower garden. <laughs> Sally, I, I, I stopped at like uh, uh, Emerald, Pokemon Emerald. Oh. After that, I'm just, I just like, any other Pokemon that you tell me about, I'll be like, what's that? What, what's that? <laughs> or Celebi. Ah, uh, Celebi, I know. Yeah, Celebi will be roaming around here and flying around. Celebi so. will look like a celery. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, many many areas you can take photo of, like here, there, full of it. It's massive, man. The flowers are so fresh. What, what are you, you blocking this? Yes. <laughs> um, oh my god, there's like a fly over my head. <laughs> okay, we're all good, all good. Yeah, all good. There's like flies <laughs> flying everywhere in this place. Especially they are attracted to warm fighting. A little moth flies. Mmm, everywhere. But look at this. <laughs> right now, we're in this arc of flowers, Rodendendron. I'm not sure, probably not. Not the right name. <laughs> but they have like pink, red, and uh, I don't know, orange flowers too. That's like the overview of Dandenong and CBD too, but the sun is just too bright. I literally cannot see anything, the sun is too bright, but right now we are here at Sky High at Mount Nanong. It's a complex that used to be an observatory, so yeah, we are 600 meters above ground in this place. And uh, I'm on the observatory deck, so if you can see in front of me, it's literally the view of Benenong and also CBD. Very nice view. So you can come here to see um, missionaries mostly and have a coffee, a bistro over there, and some secret gardens. Walk behind me at this path. Be, at this path. I'm not sure where it leads to, but yep, this place is uh, mostly for tourists to go to. I'm not sure what's going on here. Actually. Are you tired? Yeah. For doing what? <laughs> for walking. <laughs> for walking in a giant uh, garden. I know it was just too much. And super sunny. I know, getting blind. So here we are, sky high. All right, that will be all, guys, for our Dandenong trip. Come with the day went so fast, but yes, this is it. Uh, we had a good day. It's just too hot, I guess. <laughs> Can't really see much. And uh, we had uh, tea cakes and all kind of things. And I have to say, one of the best gardens I've ever been to, right here in Nandanao. This is where I sign off. I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe. That's all from me from Caswell. Bye.